right, so for Ray here, it's day two on this uh, tree cutout. Uh, these guys couldn't finish up, and uh, there's a bunch of bees on the outside. There must be a hole somewhere or something. But anyway, they want me to do the cut, so we're tying it off to that tree there, and then we're tying it to the guy's truck right there. I'm going to do a kind of an angle cut, and it's hopefully going to swing that way, and uh, um, you know, hang off of that tree, and then we'll we'll bring it back over here towards the end. So right now I'm just going to go up and uh, vacuum up some bees because there's probably two pounds of bees outside that hole. Can you zoom up in there, Rich, and see those bees? Here, let me see it. Yeah, there's a bunch there and there's some at the very top too. Those are the two pieces I cut off yesterday and wired them. So we're going to go get some bees. About that cut that was a good cut i could have sworn raymond's a lumberjack from the great northwest it was, a, it was a professional cut no doubt about it what kind of cut is that uh that's just a straight face cut face cut yeah huh? okay it's, it's not a humble humble would have been opposite but it's a straight face but right in line with the pull line it was perfectly angled got his pie out got his back cut above just it's textbook right there didn't even touch the fence textbook beautiful nice work what do you have to say? Great good job, man. Thank you. Raymond? Good pie cut, buddy. Good All cut. right. Let's eat some pie now with bees on it. All right. It's Surfer Ray here, and uh, we got them right where we want them. We got the tree down. Um, so what the game plan is now is we're going to remove this screen. First, I'll vacuum up these bees. I got the bush kill set up right here. We'll be sucking them right into a hive body, and then we'll be in... Um, like I said, pulling this out, sucking all the bees we can, and then I'm gonna make my first cut somewhere around here. I'm gonna cut there, cut here, and then cut the edges, and then just take off that piece, expose what's down in there, and then we're just gonna keep doing that as we go up. And of course, we'll be cutting out the comb as we go, and we'll be installing them on these frames here and uh, putting them in the box. And once we get all the brood into the box, then we combine it with all the bees we vacuum up into the bush kill and bring them home and so uh that's the game plan for right now okay ray what do you think ray well i think we're gonna about to see what this looks like inside Oh my. Oh shoot. That oh. wasn't too good. <laughs> Dropped that piece slipped out of my hand. I should have vacuumed all those bees up first. Wow. What a hive. See if we can find that queen. Right behind you, right on the table. Let's get it up there. It's like a queen. All right, we're getting some really beautiful frames of brood here. Got some nice cat brood here. This is all full of eggs, and we're just pulling out pieces like this right here. You can see all that larvae right there. All the brood in the back. And then we're cutting it in these frames right here, and then dropping it in here. It's very nice because this is all older comb and there's not a lot of honey, so it's very easy to deal with. We can take come and take a look at the cavity here. We got most of this cut out. It's kind of perfect the way it, uh, uh, the tree landed here too, because we can just cut it this way. We're gonna cut this piece out and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut the next section of tree and uh, just keep working our way up. And once we get to the honey, it's just gonna be 
thrown into the garbage there because uh, first of all, it makes a gigantic mess. And second of all, it's going to be full of sawdust and, and everything else. So. All right, it's coming right along. Pretty stoked. All right, we just cut out the next section here. Rick's up here sucking all these bees off the little lid here. And we got this whole section of comb to cut out next. A lot of bees in there, huh, Rich? Incredible. I've never seen anything like it. Thanks, Ray, for bringing me along. Showing me the rope. Yeah, baby. Really cool. All right, what a cutout. Look how massive this cutout was. That's how far the bees went all the way up to there. This whole cavity was just just comb and bees. I mean, there's got to be at least 100,000. So anyway, so now we have our brood. We have all these nice sheets of brood in here. Ready to go. We got all our bees. Actually, we used the bucket back right there along with the bush kill. And so uh, we got the majority of the bees in here. And so what we do now is we take off our lid. You can see all the bees underneath there. Anxious to get back to their brood. And so now we put this back. Put the lid back on. And then we strap it back down. Yep, that guy who came up with this was a pretty smart cookie. Called the bush kill, like I said. I think that's the guy's last name, but I'm not not sure on that. Okay, we have it all secure now, and so now all we got to do is pull out this screen. You kind of want to go slowly, give the bees a chance to uh, get off of it, so you don't squish them. And right now, all the bees that are down in this box are going to go right back up onto the brood. And there you go. And the cool thing is, I can just take this home, and when I get home, I can just open up where the, where the where we put the vacuum hose is, and this becomes their entrance. So they can just go in and out, I set it where I want it, and then when I'm ready, I just take off this upper box where all the bees will be up here on that brood, and I set it on a hive stand, you know, on a bottom board and on the hive stand, and then put a regular lid on it, and you got a hive ready to go. And then in a week, we'll go in there, probably a week to 10 days. We'll go in there and we'll see if we see any eggs or if we see if they make queen cells. They have tons of eggs in here so that if they do, um, if we didn't get the queen because it was a pretty much a nightmare in there, um, they'll make a new queen. I can almost guarantee you. So anyway, pretty successful day. Pretty stoked. Yep, yep. That's it.